Nashville is the capital of the country music world. And every year, thousands of people move to Tennessee to be part of what is a multi-billion dollar industry. But little do they know that when chasing their dreams to Tennessee, if they make it, they're often entering into a world that's full of legal loopholes, uh, devoid of the protections that most of us expect and take for granted in the workplace. And that's what we're trying to fix today. I had an opportunity to have a career in an industry that I loved, country music, from the ages of 14 to 24. And I was fortunate enough to be able to sing and perform all across the country. But in the last three years, after having been exposed to many different uncomfortable situations over much of my time as an artist, I felt pressured to choose between my self-worth and respect or performing. They need stronger legal protections. They need stronger protections from the industry. And we need to see a change in culture that says that harassment isn't okay anytime, any place. By the time I reached 18, I had been exposed to behaviors and expectations that made me uncomfortable. It ranged from innuendos and crude comments to outright unwanted touching. Not only was it confusing, but it was humiliating. This was happening at the hands of powerful and influential professionals that I was supposed to impress with my music. Like many, I was told that it was all just being part of the business. I was a teenager dealing with radio programmers touching me under tables at industry events and making inappropriate sexual remarks. I was instructed not only to tolerate it, but to encourage it. And no matter what I did, I couldn't, I wait, need a second. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. I just felt really lightheaded. <laughs> Take your time. When I started out in country music over 10 years ago, it was something that was not talked about in any capacity. Um, it was a definite no. Uh, but I've definitely seen a change, especially in the last year or so, with women actually talking about it. It might not be in a public setting like others would wish for it to be, but it is something that is being talked about, and it is something that um, everybody is acknowledging needs to be changed. And I think that the more that that happens, the more likely it is that real change is possible.